Hi everyone, so I wanted to make this video today as kind of a helpful little guide for how you want to um, do proper citation formats when you're writing, when you're performing technical writing. Um, so this is different from your typical MLA format that you have seen in other publications and doing bibliographies by, you know, basically author's last name. So when you're doing scientific writing, we want to be able to organize our references because we need to reference um, prior work and we need to cite when we're uh, basically building um, off of prior work. Uh, and we need to include those in our paper. And we need to cite by order of appearance. We need to use scientific um, formatting rules. And again, this is just an example. When you actually um, submit articles, uh, journal articles, you're going to want to use their specific citation format. But this is very general. It's an easy tool that can be used and adapted. Um, forget that. Easily used and adapted <laughs> in order to um, uh, basically do those citation formats. So let's go ahead and get started. There are many tools that you can utilize, but today I'm going to show you a free one that you can use, and it's called Zotero. Um, so Zotero has, you can basically, you can download Zotero here. Um, I already have it downloaded. Um, so you just basically download. It could work for Mac, Linux, anything you need. So there's a program and then there's a Chrome connector and there's other browser connectors as well. Um, that plugin is right here. So it allows me to basically when I search for articles to just go up here, click save and you'll see how it works. So I'm going to open Zotero. So once you download, download's pretty, it's quite simple. Um, if you want to kind of see me do the download, we can do that, but it's it's quite straightforward. I'm um, going to delete all these. So let's delete these. So I have a library. Um, and so I'm going to just look at uh, a demonstration. So because today is a demonstration. Um, so let's say I start writing. So I open up Word. We'll look at this on Google Docs as well. Um, so let's go ahead on that. So we have. Um, I'm going to say active matter is interesting. Um, and let's say I want to cite that. Obviously, you're going to write something much more clear. But I want to look up some scientific articles. So I could do Steinmol. Okay, yes. So I can click here. I'm just going to look up a couple articles. Same, shameless uh, self promotion of these articles. Um, And here we go. Excellent. So let's say I look up an article. Ah, uh, the see. Oh, this is interesting. So once I decide I really like this article, I can go up to here, and you see here this little paper icon. I could save this to Zotero, and when I do that, I can now open Zotero. I have to have Zotero open in order to save it. But look it. Item type: journal article. Title of my work. Uh, authors, and I can also see here, I actually have the full citation here as well, or the full paper. So I have the PDF of my paper as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. One click and you're done. Um, so I could do the same thing here. Save. I'm just accumulating all these articles. Again, I've read them. I've cited them in my work. And now I can go through and do the work of doing my citation. So Active Matter is interesting. I'm going to look on my Zotero. This automatically plugs in if you have Word and those other uh, things. And I'm going to add a citation. And my citation format, you see there's lots of different citation formats, but we're going to use Nature here because obviously hopefully we want to publish to Science and Nature. And then I want to cite, for example, my PNAS paper. Click it. Citation is done. And look at this. My bibliography is finished. Awesome. Um, I can also do this. Metris is a technique to measure interaction affinity. So let's say I have to rearrange my paper. And previously, you would probably have to reorder your citations because we cite in order of appearance. So the first citation doesn't matter the author. It's cited in the order in which it appears. So let's say I had to reorganize my paper. And uh, now, I mean, I want this, this to be first. And I'm going to cite some different... Um, so, for example, I want to do the communications here. I want to do eLife. Um, where is the eLife one? Patel. Look what happened. 
it automatically reorganized. These are one and two, now three. So these papers were first because that was my first you know, citation. And then that third one was the last one. Amazing, right? You can reorganize. I could do it again. So let's um, we can even say EMBO journal citation. So I want, to, I want to cite that. Again, it's just a sentence. EMBO journal is interesting. Again, you, you'll write better, but I could add a citation. So again, let's see that again. So we could do EMBO. So watch. So we should see the EMBO journal first. The nature communication gets pushed down and voila. It automatically reorganizes that for us. So that that's really cool. We can go into, um, let's do Google Docs. So let's go to Google Docs. I don't do Docs too often because I'm an old person and I use LaTeX, um, but I know all the young, I know it's super cool now, the young generation to use Google Docs all the time. But um, again, active matter is interesting. And even on Google Docs, I have my Zotero. So I'm going to add my citation. So I need to sign into my Google account. And again, everything needs to be, I'm going to allow nature. So again, I want nature format. And then I want to do, again, I could just do style. So do this, click it, got my citation. Zotero, I could also do add bibliography, voila. So same thing. LaTeX is a little bit different, but if you're using LaTeX, you probably know how to use citations and you probably use some something similar to this, but we can work on that together if you're interested in that. If you want another video on LaTeX specifically, I'd be happy to do that. One of the cool things is it doesn't also have to just be journal articles. So for example, um, if I do this, actually let me go back. So I can look at a patent too. So if there's an interesting patent that I want to cite, save it, and I got my patent. I could do, um, I could also look at just news articles. So basically you can look at this new technique to, for rapid COVID testing, and I could save that here. And I could add, I could add this, basically patent and um, news article. And I could add those citations. Um, let's see if we could find those patent methods. Here we go. There's the methods. And then we can say MIT researcher. Here we go. And again, reorganization. So Zotero, lots of these tools are very, very, very good to use. Please use them. Use it in your writing, and I hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions or would like to see this demonstrated in other videos, um, please let me know. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.